Hello guys, Skizzy here, and I have seen so many beating toxic players videos on Hypixel Bridge, and I am wondering why are there so many of them, and a lot of them have gotten viral, so I want to talk about this and how to deal with these types of players, and what to do when you encounter them. My thoughts on the countless videos of beating toxic bridge players is that I think it is a great way to limit toxicity. The subjects in those videos could set an example of how to behave around other players to create a better community on Hypixel. Maybe next time some asshole tries to go on Hypixel to shit talk another innocent player, they might realize their antics could be watched by hundreds of thousands if that player has a recording software. Also, the players from those videos apologize, which I forgive them, honestly. It takes a lot of responsibility to own up to your own mistakes and admit that you have learned from them. Some of them could just be sorry because they are caught, but the amount of hate they get is hypocritical. They are sorry for being toxic, yet the people hating on them are toxic themselves, spitting death threats, and just being a bad mind man, honestly. Also, Bridge as a game mode can be toxic, but so are all duels game modes. As duels is a highly competitive genre and Bridge is the most popular, I don't think Bridge as a game is filled with that much toxic players unless you go on Bridge scrims. There is only a small minority and they get the most attention so people will think these small represent most of the population of Bridge players. Also if you have been toxic in the past, there is no harm in admitting it. Hell, I have been toxic before like 2 or 3 years ago. There have been some instances where I have been guilty of raging and I am sorry to anyone who has been subjected to that. It was a long time ago, but I'd like to admit it. Don't let these play players get to you. Just ignore them or don't reply. Don't waste your time on them. Hypixel has a slash ignore add username command where you can basically block any player if they're being really tedious. And a lot of them are probably hurt themselves. You know, a lot of them probably have issues at home. You know, they have issues at school. And I just feel bad for them. They got issues and they're probably taking it out on others. They're probably taking it out on you as well. So yeah, don't let these players get to you. You know, just ignore them or don't reply to them. I think giving them that energy, giving them that attention is not going to help them at all. And it's not going to help you as well. So just ignore them and don't let it get to you. I have spoken to someone who was in one of these videos. His name is Lil Zippy slash Ravenwood who went on his alt and was exposed for toxicity by Bucky Bar, being seen by hundreds of thousands of people. We have talked about toxic players, but let's actually meet one and see how they are alike. I'll read the messages I exchanged with him. Yo, can I ask you some questions about Bucky's vid on you? Lemayo, no, fuck that, Lemayo, I was fucking around. Really? I wasn't actually being serious, dog. So you're just trolling for views. Do people genuinely look at my chat messages and think I was serious? You said Bridger sucks and that you were calling him a noob. You said he was bad at the game. You called him an idiot and accused him of- You, you accused him of hacking. Immature as F, Lemayo, satire, bro. I wasn't being serious, man. Oh well, how much hate did you get in the video? I didn't get any hate. I mean, somehow little immature kids found my actual channel and like spammed it with dislikes and stuff. But like, that's not the YouTube act I use. I didn't even know until like a year later. I was never affected by the exposure me and Bucky recorded another video while we were in a call. On Discord right after, but he never uploaded it. Wait, so you're just acting toxic so Bucky could get views? No, I didn't know how- I didn't know Bucky or that he had a channel. But I had seen his name on the leaderboard, so I knew he was good. What I did was intentionally act cringe and toxic to him. I didn't know at the time that he was recording or that he would upload it. Well, why did you act like that to him? Was it to impress him? He continues his story by saying, But then afterwards, me and Bucky chatted and I told him I'm not really toxic, as I was just on my alt and fucking around with everyone I played with. And so he told me he was going to upload it. And I'm like, bet, because I thought it was funny. I didn't think people thought I was serious. So then we made a part two and we played together, except this time we were in a Discord call just chatting and stuff, but he never ended up uploading that. At the time, I would go on my all and pretend to be a noob and then beat people and then talk trash to them. Like, I would spam, L, you suck, haha, and L, noob, easy, so bad, trash, L. He said he did it because it was a joke. I asked if the players... I asked if the players exposed for their toxicity in those videos to serve the hate they get. He replied with, so I think they should get hate, but at the same time they shouldn't. If you hate someone who is being toxic, you're the one being toxic. This is my interview with Lil Zippy who was in one of these videos. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little investigative piece of journalism. Make sure to like and subscribe. And peace.